Hello guys, it's time for another SpaceX updates video. SpaceX launched its first batch of Starlink V2 mini satellites. These satellites are more powerful and more reliable than the ones already in orbit. A Falcon 9 rocket launched 21 V2 minis from SLC-40 at Cape. Three, two, one, ignition. And lift off. Six dash Vehicles to gun range. The first stage booster supporting this mission was on its third flight and after successfully delivering the second stage in orbit, it returned back to Earth and landed perfectly on the drone ship. It was the 100th successful consecutive landing of a Falcon 9 first stage. Landing booster is okay, but doing it 100 times in a row is another level of achievement, a record that I think won't be challenged by any company in the near future. Although the satellite deployment wasn't shown live on the webcast, Elon later shared this footage on Twitter. The best payload deployment footage so far. At Starbase, SpaceX conducted a cryogenic test for a second time on Starship S-26. A small amount of liquid nitrogen was loaded on the Starship. They might be testing the tanks for a possible static fire test in the coming weeks. Later at night, two SPMTs arrive at the launch site to take the ship back to the production site. It's been a while since Elon talked about the Starship orbital flight. It would be nice to hear some updates now from him or SpaceX about a possible date for the launch. Booster 7 and S24 ticked all the necessary boxes to be qualified for flight. Starbase Surfer provided the latest picture of Starship S24 from the Rocket Garden. It looks like the TPS tiling work is complete on it, but it is hard to tell from this angle. It does look like most of the work has been done. After reaching orbit on its second launch attempt last year, Firefly Aerospace is gearing up for multiple launches this year. Recently, the company concluded engine firing tests on both stages of its Alpha rocket. Firefly is targeting May for the launch of its first U.S. Space Force mission. This mission will be more like a test mission to demonstrate industry capabilities to send a payload to orbit on 24 hours' notice. It's good that we have seen a number of small startup rocket companies coming up with different classes of rockets but they are already facing a tough market with the likes of SpaceX providing cheap and highly reliable launch services on its rideshare programs. But space is for everyone. More competition means more innovation. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end.